What's going on guys? Philip at Trade Genius. All right, got a headline from newsbtc.com. Bitcoin fell 50% from $6,000 in 2018 after this key signal lit and it's flashing again. What are they talking about? Well, we're going to dig into that in this video and go over why I think this is totally wrong, even though this signal has fired up. So we'll dig into that in this video. And really briefly, guys, we do have our specials ending on Saturday night. This is the Black Friday specials. Only time of the year we mark things down this low. So if you're interested or have been thinking about joining us, now's the time. All right, guys, let's dive into this video. Trade Genius. All right, guys, so basically what they're talking about in this is that they think the miners are ready to capitulate and the final nail was put in the coffin of the bulls an indicator that tracks the health of the bitcoin mining ecosystem has just flashed bearish for the first time in a year signaling impending capitulation what are they talking about well uh, i'll refer to a chart to explain this by at 100 trillion usd or plan b in, on twitter uh, we featured his work on here before, uh, has done some really, really good work on stock to flow and things like that. Some real original stuff and a lot of props go out to him on his work with Bitcoin price modeling. This one isn't so much a price model as it is basically showing us when we've had difficulty increases or decreases. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitcoin difficulty, essentially the network monitors itself in the amount of hash power that is produced on the network that's used to confirm transactions and solve those blocks that give out rewards to the miners. So whenever there's an increase in the difficulty, that means that more hash power has been added to the network. More people are mining on the network. You know, a, a mining farm starts up, they're gonna add more hash power to the network and the network will raise the difficulty of solving a block and by doing so keeps those block uh, solving rates at around 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes a block gets solved. That's the goal of the system to keep, basically trying to keep that inflation rate of uh, producing the Bitcoin rewards, which currently stands at 12 and a half Bitcoins, that reward being produced every 10 minutes as blocks are solved. So it's just a, a way of throttling the system to keep the inflation rate constant. So whenever we see a blue dot in this graph what that indicates is that actually hash power has dropped and as such difficulty drops so less hash power on the network means that the difficulty can then be reduced because otherwise it'll take longer than 10 minutes to solve a block if the difficulty doesn't drop down because of the reduction in computing power okay so more computing power difficulty goes up less computing power difficulty goes down and it basically is a floating uh, rate. So whenever we see a blue dot, okay, that's a very rare thing, okay? Most of the time, the system either has a mild reduction or a flat reduction or is going up. Most of the time it's going up. As you can see, predominantly it's red. Greenish will be around zero. Darker green will be actually a negative reduction, but blue is when you have your fairly large reductions to the point where it's it's on the far side of the scale. So you don't get many of those blue dots, which means there's been a large drop off. So there's a couple areas where you get blue dots. One is when things capitulate. Okay, so you can see that here on the graph here. Uh, most recently it was here and what the article is talking about is when you got that blue dot and we called this the, the minor capitulation because a lot of miners started taking their uh, machines offline because it wasn't profitable to mine Bitcoin uh, until the difficulty adjusted. So you have to kind of look at things as where they are in the cycle, right? So we've come, you know, this happens at the end of uh, bear markets or into bear markets. Uh, you'll get these capitulations, uh, minor capitulations that you might call it. Uh, you'll see the same thing here. This was, we peaked in 2013. You saw a blue dot as far as the reduction in hash power and difficulty. And then that was a consolidation phase. And then we came out of the bear market. This year's version is this area here. But as you get closer to the halving, and this dot here is more like what we saw here on this dot. Okay, so more often than not, <clears throat> what you're going to see is these are actually the times you want to invest in Bitcoin. Because when you see this blue dot that happens... Uh, at this point in the cycle here, 
also at this point in the cycle here, these are times when you actually want to be getting into Bitcoin, not worrying about a capitulation. So these red arrows are capitulation type events. But again, you have to look at where they took place after the peaks, after the peak here, after the peak here, after the peak here. Okay, so it's important to understand where these take place. So yes, we haven't had a blue dot in a while, not since the drop from 6K down to the 3Ks, but different part of the cycle, and it's just a different implication here. So these are the blue dots that you profit from. So the yellow arrows show when you're getting before the halvings, okay? And that part of the cycle is great. So the yellow arrows, perfectly fine. In fact, huge upside potential. So I would go opposite of what that headline says and say, this is a great buy signal. Uh, typically, historically, at this point in the cycle, as you head toward the halving, uh, you're going to see large percentage gains. Okay, so don't be afraid. Uh, if you see these headlines about the uh, difficulty going down, adjusting down, we see that. That's perfectly normal. And it could be a number of things that contribute to that. People, maybe there's server farms in certain parts of the country that, or globe that, uh, you know, for whatever reason had to shut down or, you know, there's a million variables at this point, but these are usually going to be singular and you're going to see the difficulty resume its upward trend. And then we're going to see a lot of price appreciation from here on out into the second half of 2020. So I just wanted to clear that up. You need to understand where these take place in the price cycles, which are driven by the halving events. Okay. I hope that helps guys. Please hit like and subscribe really helps out our channel and helps us keep bringing content to you. Again, if you're interested in what we offer, please check out tradegenius.co or tradelikeagenius.com and check out our packages there on those Black Friday specials. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.